Good evening, parents. So we are on week two of distance learning. Right here is the plan. I'm going to meet whole class Monday and Friday at 12, probably take about a half an hour, but I will be on the Google Meets from 12 to one Monday through Friday. So if students need help, all they need to do is at the top of their string, they'll click this link between 12 to one and it will magically be there for them. Uh, remember that they do have a Zoom with Mr. Zender on Mondays at three to 3.30. They need to check in his classroom for that. They also need to fill out their log that he has. Uh, computer class, they need to go to Mr. Carl's computer class. He usually has like a video for them to watch and a short question for them to answer. Um, once I'm done with this video, this video will also be here, but it is currently here along with our slides. So this is kind of our overall schedule. Again, from 12 to one, Monday through Friday, we'll be in the Google Meet. Khan Academy is 13 problems this week. There's a link here if you forget how to get there. Um, remember to take your attendance. You can either take the attendance from here or go here and take the daily attendance every single morning. Let me go back to classwork. Oh, actually, let me go back to the stream. Uh, we are going to be reading chapters 10 through 18, 10 through 18 for reading. Um, and then there's a Google slide that goes with them. For writing, we will be doing verbs and a journal. The journal needs to be a full paragraph. Sorry about that. The journal needs to be a full paragraph. We also have Gold Rush 3 and 4. And there's an energy slides science excitement. They will do their final posting on Flipgrid. And finally, they have the owl drawing, which will also be on Flipgrid. This is kind of the weekly overview. I wanna take you through the actual assignments now. So all of the past assignments are here for last week. If your student did not do one, um, you can, check and see. As you can see, I have seven students that did not do this activity. So I'm still waiting on those. Please get them in. I have four students that did not do this one. So click on them. Click on the actual side and make sure that your child has filled in the slide and they have not left it blank. Um, and then submit those and let me know so I know to look for them. So again, this is our week. We have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There are the YouTube videos. Now notice one of them is chapter 18 and 19. You only need to listen to chapter 18 because the Google slides just go from chapters 10 through 18. My suggestion is to do one of these a day, maybe do two of them the first day, two of uh, one of them the next day. You could conceivably finish this all by Thursday and not have anything to do on Friday. Again, Khan Academy is here uh, this time. There are 13 activities, five videos, five practice assignments, two quizzes, and a final test. Just like last time, the videos will be worth 10 points each, practice assignment 25 points, the quizzes will be worth 50, and the final test will be worth 200 points. Verbs, they will click here, and they will fill out all of the questions that are in it on the Google side. The journal is here, they will click here, and they will type their paragraph. Again, a full paragraph. This time, since I'm focusing on verbs, I want them to continue using lots of good adjectives, but I also want them to do some unique verbs in describing the picture. Owl art is here. They will draw this owl picture, and then on Flipgrid, they will share it. Gold Rush is here. They click this video, and they will watch and answer the questions. This is the second Gold Rush video that they will be doing. And finally, they have a stored energy project. There is a lot to it. So I know kids might have questions um, Monday after our meeting, or they might wanna pop in during our um, office hours. But essentially here is the video that they're going to be watching. And there is a slide here that tells them what to do. In this slide, Miss Marchman has even made a little video, a how-to video inside it. Let me move this over when it pops up. So your assignment choices are either creating a video through Flipgrid or doing a stored energy release worksheet. Here is her explaining the video. So she goes through and there's all the different descriptions. The rubric is here. Everything you need is here. So again, they will watch this video. 
they will look through these slides and then here's the document they can do or they can do the Flipgrid. Either way, Ms. Marchman will be grading that for you. If you have any questions, you may always text me throughout the week. If you need to go into the Google Meet in a time that is not my office hours, send me a text and I will happily hop in. Otherwise, from 12 to 1, Monday through Friday, I will see you here. Everyone will be there Monday and Friday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is optional. All right. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you have a fabulous evening.